Uh. I started hooping for the Nike check. Uh. I play tennis for the Rolex. I be in Miami never. Hey, I'm trying to be like the third Hodge twin brother. So, uh, Keith, one of y'all need to hit me up. I'm trying to get on the channel, family. I'm big enough? No? Alright. What's up, what's up, what's up? Back with another video, man. I'm back with another episode of Dare Leak, one of the realest advice series on YouTube. Dare Leak is basically when y'all email me your situations, whether it be just regular life issues, relationship issues, anything of that nature. I read those emails that y'all send me and I give y'all some advice on the video. So, uh, let's get to it. Dear Leak, so in 2014, I met this guy. We did it for almost one year, but then he moved to another state. We talked for a while after that and then stopped talking completely. I never lost feelings for him because he was my first love, as I like to call him. Well, we had felt right, you know? Well, he came back two months ago and we talked. A couple of days after he got back, he said he wanted to try us again because his feelings never left. I agree, so we hung out a couple times after that, but now we barely talk. We don't see each other as much. He even mentioned it last week that he wants to be like it was. We talk almost all day and hung out most of the time. He lives like 10 minutes away and he works. I don't know how to approach him and ask him what are we or what is going on. He's the type of guy that doesn't really open up unless he is in his feelings or something. I really do like him, but I don't know if the feelings are the same. When we hang out, it's amazing, and he always is smiling. I'm 16 and he's 17, about to be 18. I still have screenshots of our last conversation before he left where he was saying how much I meant to him and how I grew on him just by being together and seeing my personality. That's how you know I never forgot about him. Any advice on how I should bring it up and tell him? Hashtag road to 100K, lots of love for you. Keep up the good work. Road to 100K. All right, so what I'm getting from the situation is that he left, you never lost feelings, he never lost feelings, when he came back, y'all want to try it again, but he doesn't, like, y'all don't know how to, like, get back into the rhythm. My advice is to just be like, hey, homie, you trying to suck on these toes or no? Nah? Is you trying to eat mac and cheese off my stomach or no? Nah? Like, what's good, family? What's, what's really good, <laughs> family? <laughs> nah, but for real, look, I'll... My light just flickered. What I would do is I would hit him with a phone call a day. Don't hit him with the, like, what are we, straight off the bat. Have a regular conversation. Be like, hey, you said that you still have feelings for me. I still have feelings for you. Uh, can we get back into the rhythm? Like, are you down to go back to what we were? Better yet, don't even do it with a phone call. Get him in person. Like, I don't know, go for lunch sometime or invite him over. Have a regular day slash conversation. And, you know, just gradually slip that, you know, what are we into the conversation and see what his reaction is and i feel like it's gonna work out but what you just told me in that email i feel like everything is gonna go out well and i really hope it does next email dear league met this girl and we hit it off we got like a 20-day snapchat streak and we facetime every other day really my question hold up Let's try to read this one more time. <laughs> Dear Leak, met this girl and we hit it off. We've got like a 20 day Snapchat streak and we FaceTime every other day. Really my question basically is, how do you know if a girl likes you? Hashtag go. Hmm. I feel like you got something going, man. If you FaceTime her every other day, you know what I'm saying? You might have a little something, man. Cause like, uh, I feel like a phone call or a FaceTime is more sentimental than a text, obviously. But uh, when people like really want to hear your voice and see your face, um, that shows a sign that they care for you in a way. If you know, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying like, if, if you know, little Jimmy from chemistry class calls you like for the homework, like that's different. But you know what I'm saying? Like if they, if, if you know that both y'all somewhat have an interest for each other and they want to call you, you in there. <laughs> but your question is, how do you know if a girl likes you, man? And that's honestly a very hard question because girls are wishy-washy, dog. To all my female viewers, it's all love, but y'all be on games, on everything y'all do. I got so many stories where I've been played by females that I really thought was like down a ride for me. But you know, they switched it up on me, and they dropped me, and then it was like, hey, bro, dude, you're ugly, honestly. And I'm just like, But everything you said, like in the text message, that meant nothing. But like I took you out on a date and everything, like you know, like we vibe, right? Yeah, but, uh, the only thing is, like, do you really think that just because you took me out on a date, um, it was free food. You offered to pay on a date, so I was like, hey, I'm about to get your free meal. That whole little skit just took me back. I think I played a lot, a lot, a lot. Like not, not just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But look, I'm gonna help you out uh, to help you not get played like I have done on multiple occasions. It's to just be straight up with Shorty and be like, hey, like I'm feeling you. Are you feeling me in that way? Because please don't assume that a female likes you, bro. I made that mistake 
more than one, more than twice. Three, more than three, I made it a lot of time. Next email, dear league, I know this boy who joined my school in the eighth grade, and as soon as I met him, we clicked. Man, we became best friends and even wanted to become a duo because we both rap. Everything went well, and then early this year, we had a massive argument because every time I asked him to come to the studio, he always said he was busy, so I decided to just do my own thing and release a couple tracks without him. I guess he got jealous because I was getting a lot of attention in school, so he didn't talk to me for a while and called me a snake for doing my own thing. However, he started to make a rumor saying I snitched on him to the feds for something that he he did, but I didn't. We hanged out with the same friends, and after that, they all turned on me. Now he has multiple diss tracks directed towards me and is constantly threatening me, and I don't know what to do, and my anxiety is getting bad. In this last month or so, I've been like really starting to get to know myself and you know learning what needs to be in my life and what doesn't need to be in my life. And one thing I brought into my life is forgiveness. And with forgiveness comes forgetting. I'm pretty sure that you heard of the quote, forgive and forget. Now, forgiveness is a big part of growing as a person and moving on as a person. So what you need to do is, Forget about what them do saying about you, this, that, and the third, and just forgive them. Don't say nothing else to them. Move on with your life. You rap? That's cool, bro. Keep doing you. Don't let them phase you. Exhale, bro. Like, just let them go. Let all the negativity go, bro. That's honestly, it's helped me out so much. It's like what just my whole mood sometimes. Life is too short to be stressed out and worrying about what the next man is doing or worrying about what the next man is saying about you. So, dude, just move on. Keep grinding, doing what you do. You rap. Can focus on rapping, bro. Don't let dude who used to be your friend phase you. Just forgive and forget. I hope y'all enjoyed this, dear leak, man. If you want your situation featured on the next video, email it to me at asyourboyumb at gmail.com or you can DM me on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. Hashtag leak to 100K. We gonna see 100K very soon. I can feel, you know, my come up happening. Thumbs up for the daily uploads. Give me a huge thumbs up for the daily uploads, man. I hope y'all enjoying them. I've been working really hard to get these uploads to y'all, so I really hope that y'all appreciate them. And now, uh, yeah, till next time, deuces. Yeah, come to me while you're freaking. Come to me while you're freaking. Yeah, come to me while you're freaking. This body leave marks on my skin when you.